Hi everybody. Well, I decided that I am going to attempt to do vlogging this year. I've talked about doing it for probably like eight years, but I think I'm finally going to try to do it. So one of the questions that I often get is, how do you do it all? Um, I'm a composer. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a writer. I'm a mom. I'm a homeschool mom. Um, and I'm a teacher. So people wonder how in the world do I fit everything in? Um, well, there are a few things that I do. Um, number one, I prioritize. That is something that I had to learn a long time ago. When I was a student, I often would take on a dozen projects at a time and maybe finish half of those. And then the other half would just kind of sit there and never get finished. I still get lots and lots and lots of ideas. And so what I do is I write them down in journals and notebooks that I have scattered everywhere. Even on my computer, I have a notes uh, page, the file that I have. If I happen to find an idea that I think it will be an amazing film or composition or just some idea that I'm like, wow, that would be great. Um, so I prioritize. Um, my first priority is my family. Um, it's just very important to me. I know that um, not everybody has a family they need to take care of. And some people have a lot of family they have to take care of, including like parents or sick relatives or siblings um, besides kids or even grandkids. So um, for me, a priority is family. Um, my second priority is um, stuff that actually brings in income. Um, the reason I do this is because I need to help support my family. Um, I have a wonderful spouse who works a lot. And uh, between the two of us, we're trying to save for a house. Um, so because of that, um, it's very important to us to be able to have both of us earn income. And that means that I might take on less fun projects, less, um, just creative ideas and projects. Um, I have a novel, I actually have three novels I want to write, um, for my Libertaria series and, um, they're on the back burner right now, um, because I don't, they don't necessarily bring in income right away. Um, I also, um, the next thing I prioritize after family and then after income um, is actually um, my health, although I'm not that great at that, to be honest. Um, since I had the baby last year, or earlier this year, actually, this is, he's going to be a year. It's crazy. Um, I have had a lot of uh, fatigue. I've been so tired. I have no energy. Um, you know, they're testing me for this, that, and the other. And um, part of what I'm going to try to do is I've been trying to get more sleep. And my husband's been taking the baby at night more so that way I can get more sleep. Um, I've been trying to eat better. Um, exercise happened for a little while, but I really don't like exercise. But um, if I exercise three times a week, um, even if that's just watching Zumba videos on YouTube, that helps. Um, I also believe friends and family, like hanging out with friends is really important. And I feel like, you know, not only is it just wonderful to build great relationships with amazing people and to just get to know all kinds of different people from all walks of life. Um, it, it's just wonderful to be with people that care about you. And for me, that's very important. So um, I, I know that, you know, family first and then I have to do my work. Um, but I feel like, you know, friends are, you know, part of being a healthy person, um, you know, just being able to, to have that person you can call or hang out with or that you can help, you know, when they're having a tough time. Um, then after that comes my creative projects. And those are projects that I want to do, but might not necessarily bring in income immediately. Um, or maybe it's a friend has a project and they're like, hey, Sabrina, can you do this, that or the other? Um, if it's an easy project, like, hey, I've got a film and, you know, you have this cool song in your library. Can you send it to me? I'm like, yeah, cool. I'll do that. Um, if it's, a, you know, organization that's like, hey, I need like 20 videos next week, um, depending on what they want, you know, that may or may not happen, um, depending on my other priorities. So the main thing is prioritizing your life. So if you want to accomplish something, whether it's in the arts or athletics or it's just something professional or your business or creatively or even in a relationship, um, <clears throat> it's important to prioritize what's important first. Um, and writing it down sometimes helps. Um, your health should always be near the top. Um, I only say this because when I was in college, I ate out of snack machines. I drank Surge all day. 
um, which was this really high calorie, high sugary, high caffeine drink. And I drank it like constantly. I ate those, I don't know if you've seen those sticky buns that they have in, in the snack machines. They have like way too many calories and it's pure sugar. And what happened was that in my family, we have a tendency to have blood sugar problems and that that pretty much wrecked um, my whole, like, uh, sugar, everything, pancreas, the whole nine yards. Everything just kind of went. Um, and so um, I did change my diet. I, you know, I, I got tests done, dietitian, you know, there's a glucose tests and everything. And I'm much better at it now. But I feel like um, had I taken better care of myself and not done the ramen noodle diet in college, you know, I probably would be a lot healthier now. Um, also, you know, having a baby, you know, depending on when you have the baby, if you wait a little bit longer, like we did, um, sometimes it's harder for your body to bounce back and be like, yeah, I can do this. Um, so, uh, it, you know, it just depends. So what I am hoping to do for the new year is I have a few different projects. Um, this week I'm going to be working on trying to finish at least a first rough, rough cut of my film Spiritus, which is an animated film. Um, I am also um, helping out a couple of organizations with different political ads. Um, so I'm going to try to get some of that done. I'm also writing articles for Musical U and Easy Ear Training, which I've been working with for several years. Amazing site, music education site. If you haven't been there, you should check it out. Um, and, um, you know, obviously just trying to be a great mom and a great wife and all that kind of stuff. Um, it does mean that, you know, prioritizing some of these other things does mean that sometimes you're not the most fun person in the world because you're like, hey, I'd love to hang out, but I have to grade like 50 papers or I have to write like five articles or, you know, it's really important to me that this is the only time I have to be able to edit down this whatever video. Um, so it is possible. You just got to, you know, take the time to see what you want to do in life. It also means you have to say no to a lot of people. Um, I have had requests for all kinds of projects and ideas, films, operas, um, animated ideas, um, just things that people have asked me to do that um, they don't realize the work involved um, sometimes or they may not. Um, be the best person to work for. And and I usually work with people that I have never met um, that have contacted me online. So I often kind of email back and forth sometimes a few times just to kind of get a feel for this person um, to see if there's somebody I'd want to work with. Um, sometimes the person's amazing and you're just like, hey, I don't care, you know, what's coming out of this project. This is going to be amazing. I'm so glad to be a part of this. Um, the requirements for me are reasonable and I'll go for it. Um, and then sometimes people contact me with, hey, I have this great idea for an opera. Can you write the whole opera, compose the entire thing, find the production cast and host it or stage it? And, you know, you know, so I, I, I usually try to get into projects that are already past the pre-production stage that are already kind of mid-production that they've already shown that either through their past experience or through where they are right now with their project that, you know, it's already up and running. Um, I, I do have a couple of projects that I do get in on the pre-planning stages because I think they're amazing. Um, I have one project right now, um, there will be an animated opera that if it gets up and running, I think it will be a very, very cool, cool project. Um, it'll be something that, um, you know, will kind of take my idea from Libertaria a, a stage for, a sta you know, further and on a more international stage. Um, and something it's a collaboration and it's it's you know it's got promise um but it needs funding and so we have to wait on the funding um so that's one of those things so if you are trying to accomplish a lot of things and you're trying to um you know meet your goals whatever they are um you know remember at, at the end of the day at the end of your life whenever that is um you know what's gonna matter is the people that you have around you um whoever they are, friends or family, your kids, your spouse, um, just loved ones. Um, and it's really not going to matter what your resume looks like. And I think for me, it took me a long time to realize that, um, you know, you are who you are. You're not what you do. And, um, you know, what matters in the end of the day are the people that love you. So anyway, I hope that helps. I don't know how many of these I'll be able to get out 
this week my husband's taking the week off so I can actually get work done so we'll see what happens um but I hope that this is a little helpful and a little inspiring to each of you and thank you for your questions <clears throat> feel free to keep asking um so that's it all right talk to you later bye